Cuba usually manages its natural disasters in a very positive way. When we have a hurricane, for example, in Florida, in America, it kills a lot of people, it just destroys a lot of property. In Cuba, they prepare for that, and we don't hear much about that in the media. Today, we had an earthquake, 6.8 magnitude earthquakes in the uh, southernmost part of the Cuba, uh, where there is a trench, oceanic trench in the ground. It's caused uh, chaos among the population. You can see that people, uh, the houses are shaking and uh, people were escaping. They, they have not been dealing with such earthquakes for, for a while. The training, obviously, you can see that is not there. People, for example, should protect themselves under a table, desk, and the frame of a door or under the stairs. This is a training you see that Japanese, for example, do it. But here you can see people just standing still, hoping that it will end. And uh, they're not used to earthquakes, it seems, in that sense, or not as frequent as Japan or other areas. Uh, what we are seeing is that the damage due to the earthquake is widespread. It caused some damage to the buildings and structures. Cuba has a lot of historical buildings. And many of them have lasted over centuries because there was not much earthquakes happening to destroy them. But now, some of it you can see that have been a little bit slightly damaged. Uh, there's a pool. The water in the pool is actually waves you can see there. This is the damage to some of the structures you can see here. Also in this one. And the aftermath, when the people go back to look at some of the older structures, this something like this you can see here. We have here a Caribbean plate. Uh, encroached between the South American plate and the North American plate, south of the Cuba, at the where is the Cayman Trench, you can see there is a strike slip fault. That's the movement. It's something like a Santa Andreas fault in the uh, California and Mexico areas. You can see the movements of these plates relative to each other. You can see the movement of the South American plate, African plate, and the North American and Caribbean plates creating this strike slip movement in the smallest of these plates, which is a Caribbean plate. And that leads to the earthquakes that we have seen today. 6.8 is the magnitude of these earthquakes. Very interesting in that sense. All these movements along these plate boundaries have to accommodate one after another this movement into each other. So you can expect somehow, somewhere, you will have another movement, another earthquakes. Interestingly enough, those uh, areas also coincide with certain parts of the Mexico. We will see.